I'm all alone. I'm all alone now. I hope so. For now at least. Dot. I said to myself. My name is Clementine and I was 8 years old when this all started. Now I'm soon 10 if my counting is correct. I'm alone in this apocalypse. Trying to remember the things Lee taught me. Trying to survive. I have lost so many things in the last months. My father Ed and my mother Diana. Lee and all the friends I had in the group. I lost my parents when this all started. I think. I was home alone. Or not all alone. I had a babysitter. My parents went to a hotel in Savannah. Then the zombies began to appear. My babysitter turned into one herself. And I was all alone. I took shelter in my treehouse the first days. They couldn't get up there. I snuck into my house to get some food and other things now and then. The zombies did not hear me. Most of the time. One time while I was looking for food a zombie grabbed me. Luckily. I had a baseball bat with me. That was the first time I killed one of those things. But it would not be the last time. I learned later that the only way to kill a zombie was to destroy the brain. The things that I have seen. It's out of this world. Zombies eating people. Killing people. People I care about right in front of my eyes and I didn't do anything to stop it. I could not. I'm weak. Small. Young. And scared. Why did all those people waste their life to save me? Dot. It was when I was in the treehouse I first met Lee. He was like a father to me. He took care of me. Defended me with his life. And he died for me. We made a group of eight people. And we tried to hold our ground in an old shop. I found out later that Lee's parents lived there. And that they died there when it all started. He tried his best to teach me different things that could help me survive on my own. Like how to use a gun. Read a map and how to use a compass and other things. Lee and I went to Savannah to look for my parents. And we found them there. As zombies. It was strange. Finding people I knew as those things. Just having enough of recognizable facial features to know that you once knew them. I still wake up at night with nightmares about it. That's why I can't give up. Can't stop hoping. Can't stop surviving. If I did that. It would mean that all the people. No. All the friends that tried to save me. Died for nothing. I can't do that to them. Dot. I must find some more food soon. My supplies are running low. I have only two cans of soup and some water left. Maybe there is something in that house. As Clementine slowly approached the abandoned house, she could see it more clearly. All the windows and doors is barricaded with wooden planks or other objects. She found an opening between some of the boards cowering one of the windows. She crawled between them and went into the house. It was silent. All she could hear was the sound of the wind and the noises from the old house. There was nothing much in the house. Some beef jerky and some more water. At least it's better than nothing. Dot. Suddenly Clementine sees a zombie in the corner of her eye. She jumps around to face it. As she does the zombie jumps towards here. Making here drop here gun. It slides towards the door. As she fights to keep the zombie of her. She finds an old kitchen knife and forcing it in through the lower jaw of the zombie. Making its way up to the brain. There is blood everywhere and the zombie finally stops moving. I better get out of here. Dot. Clementine grabs the most useful stuff from the house and starts moving. She walks for a long time without any specific goal. When she suddenly notices that the sun is on its way down. I should find some form of shelter soon. There is getting dark and it's not a good idea to be in the open at night. Maybe I should find a tree. I be safe there for the night. I hope. Dot. I mumbled to myself. Lee always told me that I was smart and mature for my age. And that's how I would survive. I don't know if it just was something that he told me to make me feel better or if it was true. I hope that one day it all will be back to normal. All I know is that I am going to survive. Dot. 